Frozen versus Fresh, which do you think is going to be tops in this challenge? The results might surprise you. In fact, the results might surprise us. If you want to see our take on cooking fresh versus frozen burgers, then stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Real quick, we gotta come in and just mention we've got our cookbook forthcoming. The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook is available for pre-order on Amazon now. Don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to check it out. There's a link to that in the description below. That's right, this one is a fresh versus frozen challenge. Something that has been requested, something that's been on the back burner for a long time. Yep. And I was at Sam's Club the other day and I saw frozen sirloin oh. burgers that they have now. Have there now they are 85-15, so 85% meat. 15% fat. fat. Right. But, Brett, I'm already talking about the groceries. Why don't you tell about the rest of the groceries and then we'll get into what this is going to entail and the fact that we're not going to be the only taste testers on this one. That's correct. But before we get to the groceries, real quick, in case you didn't know, I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. Yes. Get to the groceries. Here we go. It's grocery time. All right. So, as you can see, this tall bag, you can't miss it. <laughs> sirloin patties. Ground sirloin and beef loin yeah. patties. And then up front here, we've got 80 20 ground beef with uh, pickles. These are our favorite best made pickles. Yes, We've got Duke's mayo, some ketchup, uh, mustard, tomato, pickles. Again, pickles. We got two bowls of pickles. How about that? <laughs> we got American cheese, lettuce, and we're using these sesame seed hamburger buns. <laughs> This is what happens. We love when, our pickles. <laughs> one bowl for Brett, one bowl for Adam. It's really funny. We were prepping the groceries, getting everything, and I saw the pickles still out. I'm like, oh, Brett took everything out. Let me get a bowl of uh, pickles. Adam filmed the groceries and did it. <laughs> didn't even notice. <laughs> and by the way, uh, this uh, fancy ketchup is what a burger fancy ketchup. And I got to tell you, who it I, is a game changer. I'm excited. Of course, I've had Whataburger until they closed down in Gainesville, right. but, and I love their ketchup. I haven't had it since, so I'm pretty geeked about this. That's right. So we're just going to go right into this. It's a real simple process. Yep. We are going to dress these just the same. We're going to get these on the grill. By the way, you saw those are about third pound uh, meatballs. We're going to go ahead and form those into patties before we put them on the griddle. Then once both are on the griddle, we're going to salt and pepper both sides yep. evenly. We're going to cook the frozen and the, the fresh just the same. We're not worried about getting the exact same time and all this because the frozen are going to take longer. Yep. But we're going to try to get them perfect juiciness on yeah, both. And then okay. we're going to dress them and then we'll cut them all up so everybody that's here will get a taste and give their opinion of which they like better. We're not going to say which is which. Brett, let's get all to right, the cook. All right, here we go. Brett, yes. what do you got there, dude? Looks like I got some birds, man. All ready right. to go. Frozen. So there's the frozen. And fresh, right? I don't know here. if you could tell the difference. So we're, gonna, <laughs> yeah, we're just going to point it out. And just so not to confuse anybody, we'll do the frozen right here on this side. And we'll do the fresh over on the fresh. This side. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> the fresh on this side, frozen on this side. Here we go. No smashing today. And, and yeah, so Brett, just, Brett's confused. Brett doesn't like the idea that we're salting and peppering both sides. Yep. But uh, this is how we do it. And now the frozen, obviously it's frozen. As they start to cook and warm, that seasoning is just gonna kind of melt inside. So obviously, this one's gonna cook a little bit quicker. I'm gonna bring the heat down just a little. And you've got the middle on screaming hot. These don't need to be screaming. Bringing the, the griddle down to medium, about medium on each of these. And uh, yeah, so the idea is we let this go. Now what we wanna start seeing is the juices pop out of here, which is what we will do. So let those cook. And when they're ready to flip in about three to four minutes, these ones are probably gonna be done in about two. We'll flip them. Yep. We're actually going to go ahead and get the buns laid down and toasted. Now, no, we're, no, no mayonnaise, no butter, butter on these. Nope. These are just to get them toasty. So as soon as Brett pulls those, he's going to go ahead and flip these burgers. Now, you usually want to just see the seasoning coming through there. That's actually pretty well cooked. So we're going to flip it. Oh, and cheese. We have American cheese oh, pictures. Yep, we sure do. We do have it. Yeah, we did. Picture? Okay. The only thing we didn't have pictured was the salt and pepper. Look at that. Those look great. And it's a little salt and pepper on that side is all. All right. And then Brett, you have the cheese? I have the cheese. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cheese these up. And those ones you can see, it's coming up about halfway. So we'll give them another minute or two and you see these juices starting to poke through. That tells us we're just about done. All right, there we go. We're just doing American. We wanted to keep the simple the way we like it. Nice, those are good. Any more, they'll burn, so yeah, that's good. That's just about to burn right there. Yeah. All right, so we got these burgers are finished before the other ones are ready to flip. They cooked so quickly. 
about three minutes total time on that. Looks fantastic. And Brett, when you're done with this one, these juices, oh, I guess they're not quite there yet, right? We'll let them go another minute. Yeah, yeah, the frozen, obviously the thing with frozen, not only does it have to thaw, thaw right. and then cook, it has to then cook after thaw. <laughs> right, <laughs> so there we go. So leave that on for a minute and uh, then we'll pull them. We'll turn them, I mean. Juices skyrocketing through the top. That tells us they're done. And I bet we got a nice good sear on those ones too, dude. Oh, it seems like I should do the scraper on this too. We got some yep. looking. So we got some sear, just some really yep. good sear. Some, and the rest peeled off there at the end. Whew. There we go, a little salt and pep. All right, we'll let those go. Those probably still need a good two minutes. So we'll let those go a couple minutes. Yep. And then we'll pull them and dress them and then we'll eat them. Before we go, we're gonna go ahead and cheese these up. Brett, in fact, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and dress the other ones so they can get ready for consumption. So we're gonna start with a little catch up. This is that fancy what a burger ketchup. Brett's doing a swirl there and a swirl there. There a swirl and there a swirl. Those are the ugliest swirls I've ever seen. Thank you. Think I went to a uh, ketchup swirling school at them. <laughs> I in my class. They're in class because they're only two students. All right. <laughs> Mustard. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah, those ones ready to pull. All right, Brady says they're ready to pull. Okay. So go ahead and pull them. Griff, good eye. Griff watching these birds saying, I think those are ready to pull, and I couldn't agree more. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, there. There. There, and... They're gonna know by the size of tomato. <laughs> Everybody gets four pickles, so good thing we brought two jars. <laughs> two, two bowls. Two bowls. Two bowls. These are good looking burgers, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Every, I, all of these. And then we got the lettuce. Brett, those are so Ready for the lids? Go for the lids. That's all systems go. All right. Here we go, that's what they look like right now. Can you tell? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate them, we're gonna cut them up, and then we're gonna serve them up. We've got some taste testers, so it's not just the Walt Twins. We got Griffin. Say hi. <laughs> There's Griffin. We got Jared, all the way from Puerto Rico, and his daughter Sarah. It's her 18th, 18th birthday. birthday today. Happy birthday! Happy birthday her, her. So of course we had to feed the masses here. So here we go. One of these burgers is fresh. One is frozen. We want you guys to, and we'll tell you which one to taste first, and then which one to taste second, and then you'll give your analysis. Fair enough. All right. So go ahead and start with the one on the left. The yes, one, start with okay, that yep, one. Yep, that's right. Okay, uh-huh. That's all right. That, uh, <laughs> yes, there we go. The left, right. and go ahead and taste it. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my friends. There my we brother, go. My brother, my sister, cheers. my family. <laughs> Jared knows how to do it. Get all of them in there. All right. First of all, how's the food? Is it a good burger? Is it a good burger? <laughs> good. Good, 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 okay. Got you. We hope you guys like yes, it. Yes, sir. Griffin, how is it? Good. And Griff was even worried because he doesn't like lettuce and things on there, right? Is it still I good? I like pickles, tomatoes, or lettuce, but I like it. And it was still good? All right, okay, good, okay. All right. So now just, we're gonna taste the other one just to compare. You guys will get to finish yeah. them by the <laughs> way. You guys wanna keep, yeah, you guys. <laughs> How chip would that be? <laughs> nope, you just get the one bite, see you later. Here we go, okay, so you're gonna grab the other one. Okay, you ready? Okay, and all, to cheers, enjoy. Enjoy, That's all right, go ahead and take your bite. Family. There we go. And analysis, analysis. Not seeing the same great look on the faces. Okay, <laughs> okay. Is it still good or is it? It's still okay. But I, I like the first one better. Yeah. It's, it's not as much flavor. Really? The first one has more flavor. And which one yeah, did you? The first one has more flavor. You like the first one better. Okay. Oh, they all like the first one better. Okay. So can you guess which one was which? This one is fresh. This one is frozen. Okay. What do you think? I think the first one was fresh. Okay. Was first was fresh. First right. was fresh. Well, just so it's, you know, the first one was fresh. The first, the first one, was one was fresh. fresh. Yeah. I will be honest. I really thought because the, the, the frozen were also the sirloin. Sirloin. So they're the top of the line. The better. It tasted 
fresher. It tasted juicier. It tasted like the other one was a little bit tougher. Maybe yeah, little, yeah. That's interesting. Juicy. I'm yeah, interested yeah. to try it for myself. And Sarah, final thoughts? What do you think? It was good. It's more filling. Yeah. yeah. The other one. Okay. So you like the fresh better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It tasted fresh to me because it was chewier and. Sometimes when I have burgers, the um, fresher one is chewier. Okay, so which gotcha. one did you like better? Uh, the, the first, first one? one? Okay, there you go. You so guys they all like the first one, the all fresh right, one? All fresh, right, fresh, very interesting. Everything really good. There's some stuff in good. here I usually don't put. Oh, that's oh, right, that's you're right. not a tomato guy, that's I'm right. tomato or mustard. Okay. Really? Wow, okay. Guys, you're converting me. Yes, right, there we, go. we converted ourselves. We used to hate onions, too. <laughs> right, that's true. All right, let's go ahead and wrap so, this up. So there they are. We had to bid our farewells, and we're going to wrap this up. But first, Brett and I need a taste test. And so we already know which ones are which. We're like, oh, let's blind taste this. We're going to go frozen very, first. I am very intrigued by the frozen. Obviously, just by looking at it, we could tell. Okay, I got to get another one, because this is... Uh... <laughs> All right, here so we go. From frozen cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. If somebody made me this burger and gave it to me, hmm, I'm loving this burger. That is really good. You know what? It is chewier. That it is uh, chewier than the ones we make that are fresh. That almost tastes like a, a concession stand burger. <laughs> that's where all this came from. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. I forgot to say, the whole point oh of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the high school I teach at is in the playoffs right now. So and aside from that, my kiddos are both in the band. So my wife and I, Jen and I, go to all the home games. Yep. We become frequenters of the concessions. And a couple of times I stopped to get a burger and I just happened to get a burger at the last game. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is a very good burger. Yeah. Which sparked the whole idea for this cook-off was like <laughs> the frozen versus fresh because Here it was really good. I can tell the difference. I want to try That's our That's what fresh. I wanted to do, but whatever. Well, <laughs> too bad. I'm going to do right. this one then. This is the biggest one. I don't care. I just want right. to... Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm. Better. There's no comparison. Mm -mm. Hands down. I was so happy with the first one. Now I see why. We gave them this one first. There's no comparison. By the way, my wife had it off screen and it took her a little bit. She really, really, really liked the sirloin, which by the way, is sirloin. Yeah. And then it took her a bit and then coming to terms, she thought more and more about it. She said, yes, I do like the fresh one better, but mm -hmm. she did like both of them, but this one. And all in all, everyone was able to guess correctly. Hello, Griffin. All right, well, Brett, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I am stuffed, and I got to tell you, that fresh burger, I, I, we say this a lot. You got to learn how to make good yep, burgers on sure the do. griddle. And I would put this against any flame kissed burger. I prefer burgers from the flat top yep. than I do on a grill. Yep. It's just a preference thing. Correct. These are restaurant quality. And 100%. that's been my favorite thing that I've learned how to make these, quote, restaurant quality burgers. And yeah, you think we should open our own restaurant or food truck? Thanks, Griff. We should someday. We should. we should. All right. Brett, aside from coming to knock out this banger and really, really share. And so maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't surprise you. Maybe the outcome is exactly what you thought it would be. It did surprise me, <laughs> but not in the way that I thought that it would. Yeah, I mean, the way, the reason I'm surprised is I thought, A, it, that it was going to be tenfold different. I thought that the, the frozen burger was just going to be mediocre at right. best. They were both really good burgers. <laughs> Aside from coming to knock out this comparison to see for ourselves, why else do we do this? Because all we do is twin no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!